Hi, um, in this video I'm just going to briefly go over how you would figure out the surface area of a cylinder. Um, so remember, a cylinder is it's a circular thing. I like to think of like a soup can. That's what I think of a soup can. So, so basically this is a soup can and it's got a certain height and it's got a round top and a round bottom, right? And so they have to give you the radius of that top and bottom that has to be given to you. So how would we figure out the total surface area, the area, the whole thing? Like if you want to figure out, you know, how many square inches of tin do you need to make this soup can? So you have to know the area of the top, the area of the bottom, and the area of the sides of the can to figure out how much the surface area of this soup can. So what would you have to do? You'd have to figure out the area of the circle on the top. You'd have to figure out the area of the circle on the bottom, and then the area of the sides of the can. So think about it. For the sides of the can, if you took this can and you maybe say there was a label, a soup label on it, and you cut the label off and you unwrapped it, you get a rectangle, right? So think about it as cutting that tin down and unwrapping the sides, you get a rectangle. And what are the dimensions of the rectangle? Well, if this is that height, how tall the can was, what is this dimension here? That's actually the circumference of the top. The circles at the top and the bottom, right? So what's the area for circumference? It's 2 pi r, right? So what would you have? You'd have a top area, which is, I'll say area, which is pi r squared. That's the area of a circle, right? You'd have a bottom area, the bottom of the can, which is also pi r squared. So you have two of those pi r squared, two circles. And then you'd have the side area, which is, how would you find the area of this rectangle? It's the height times 2 pi r. So to get the total surface area, you got to add all those up. You add them all up. Okay. So with the circle area, top and bottom, there's two of those, and then figure out the area on the side by unwrapping it, you know, one dimension is the height, and the other dimension is the circumference, which is 2 pi r, add them all up to get the total surface area of the cylinder. Okay, so you might encounter problems like that. I hope that helps.